If the country is at a crossroads on gun safety, look no further than the corner of 23rd and Jackson. It's seen a lot of things, uh, unfortunately. One person has been shot. Over the years. Gunshots that police say wounded four people, three adult men and a two-year-old child. The parking lot at this intersection has been front and center to a lot of pain. Gun violence is a public health emergency. But today, it was filled with people looking for a solution like Davida Briscoe. It's heartbreaking. Um, and it brings back memories of my own suffering as a mother. She has lived experience. I buried my 17-year-old son. I buried my partner, and then I buried my brother. I buried three loved ones to gun violence. So I've been in this fight for a long time. Briscoe is now working for the Seattle mayor to reverse trends. Your armor and your uh, firearm should be able to fit nicely in this box. And with volunteers like Orlando Ames. Because what's going on now in our community, th these are needed. He handed out King County Public Health provided safe storage boxes and trigger locks. It takes community and it takes humanity and we have to be humans in this process. It's easy to get hopeless. It's easy to feel powerless. I think um, this is just one measure. It's not going to solve uh, everything. Briscoe says she'll keep pushing this as a solution. Should fit nicely inside this box. To change the direction at this intersection and beyond. King County Executive Dal Constantine, who you saw there, was joined by Seattle City Council Member Dan Strauss. They both said they backed the president's call for a renewal of the assault weapons ban with the latter Strauss saying, and quoting now, you can be pro Second Amendment and be pro gun responsibility. That's the story for now live in Seattle. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.